Hey, are we here now? Is anybody on? Okay. All right, Elijah. Okay, what do you see, Elijah? Hey, everybody. Welcome. Come on in. Sorry about the little mix up there. My phone wouldn't flip correctly. Hello. Hey. So exciting to see everyone. And I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to set Dakota and Elijah as. Okay. They already set their stuff as moderators. So. Okay. So. Huh? Dakota and Elijah are helping me tonight. And so. Yeah. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm so glad you're all here. Well, as I was saying, Dakota and Elijah is going to be helping me tonight. And so um, you might hear them talking and saying stuff. Thankfully, I have them to help me. Thank you. So everybody got their stuff, something to drink and snack. have my drink uh, this is my actual first live chat I did a test thing one night once I'm in the middle of the night just because I thought no one would be on but surprisingly there was people on but it was just a test thing just to see how um, my webcam worked with the computer but um i'm finding that using an awful a phone is better for me <laughs> so i see we have quite a bit coming in already so um yeah if y'all want to tell us where you're from we're in Monroe, Louisiana. So if you want to tell us where you're from, that'd be great. Okay, do I need to turn that down some kind of way? Sorry for technical difficulties. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. If it wasn't for my boys. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, Erica. Oh, let's see. Okay, so anyway, this is uh, my anniversary. One year ago today, I started um, making YouTube videos. Actually, my channel is a little bit older than that because in 2009, Dakota tried to make me do a YouTube channel about homeschool and stuff. And he um, actually recorded me showing some lap books that I had made for homeschooling. And um, so those are like the oldest videos on there. And I think that was in 2009. So um, I didn't do anything with it, but those got a lot of views. <coughs> and so on April the 4th last year, um, Dakota finally talked to me into doing a little YouTube thing, so that's how I got started in this. So it's been a year, and also I've reached a thousand subscribers now, and that's exciting. I never would have thought I'd make a thousand subscribers, and you know, I'm a little bit over that, but if I don't go any further with subscribers, that's fine with me. Um, I just, um, you know. I'm excited that I made to a thousand <laughs> and also um you know I had a birthday Tuesday so we're kind of celebrating three things here anniversary, a thousand subscribers and my birthday usually my birthday is not that big a deal so <laughs> I don't know why I'm making a big deal out of it right now but anyway um the, the comments are going like super super fast so Dakota and Elijah are gonna have to help me uh, with that but anyway I want to show you some of the prizes that we're going to have tonight 
So um, one of the prizes is this bag with some green cotton yarn in there. Oh. Yeah, I did. I did both. Oh. And one of the prizes is this little bag that actually has a um, it's it's a small version. Ah, look close and personal. It's a small little version of this. So it's a little sack bag, and it has a little space on there that some cross stitching could be on there. So um, that's a prize. And then I have. Um, lots of little balls of cotton yarn, several different ones of those, about, let's see, six different ones of those, and I have um, a basket of cupcakes, and we may even do like some Ravelry patterns, so yes. So we're going to get started. We're up to 72 people on here now. So let's get started and play a game. So my first game question is, and Dakota and Elijah, y'all have it on live chat? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they'll be able to see the first person who responds. And then we're just going to like, just randomly pick a prize out of here, I think. Right? Is that what we decided, guys? Yeah. Okay. So the first question is, who can tell me what the very first item I ever made with yarn is? I illuminated a item for myself. So who wants to guess the very first item? Oh, D got it. A scarf. And here it is. I'll just show you. Um, it's like this super long scarf. It's my very first thing to ever make. Uh, um, we had just was in the process of rebuilding our house and had it kind of pretty much settled and um, I had lost like all of my art supplies and such and so I was in Walmart and I had always wanted a big scarf but never wanted to ask any of my friends to make it for me and so I saw that loom and I just wondered I wonder if I could make a scarf with that and so I got a skein of yarn and that loom and I came home and was trying it and I loved the way it was working out. So I ended up getting like another skein of yarn. So I think it's two whole skeins of yarn for that super big scarf. So yay D. And I'm gonna write your name down here. <laughs> that was um D Thompson. Yeah. I have a big list here of keeping up with everything. Hey, everyone who's coming in. So what did you win? So glad you are here. Um, are we gonna keep, how are we gonna keep that separated and all? So D Again. won a little cupcake of yarn. And I'm not sure how we're gonna keep this. I think we'll just um, not say what color you're gonna get because that's gonna be a little confusing because I have 25 prizes for tonight. So I think we'll just say, you want a cupcake of yarn, and then you'll get whatever. Is that okay? All right. Thanks, D. All right. <clears throat> so. Do you need your address? Yeah, D. Um, and I'll just say that at the end, um, actually, if you'll email me your mailing address at llamamamakayla at gmail.com. And actually, I think I do have D's address already. Okay, so I need, um, one thing that you're going to need for tonight is pen and paper or pencil and paper, but you're going to need something to write with to make a list. And so you might want to just grab some paper. So I'll give you all a little time to do that. We also have a secret word for tonight. And the boys are watching for anyone who might say the secret word. <clears throat> and then we'll, you know, shout out when somebody says the secret word. We're also going to have a door prize. So um, they're just going to go through the names and kind of just pick probably two random door prize people. <clears throat> and so that'll be later on tonight after, you know, we get to like the highest peak 
of numbers, they'll pick uh, two door prizes. So we have a secret word and <laughs> Pee Wee Herman's not <laughs> But um, Llama's not it either, but yeah. Um, also we have, has everybody got pen and paper? <clears throat> oh, who's from Louisiana? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so another thing we're going to play is we're going to guess how many balls of yarn is in this jar. And y'all can start guessing now if you would like. And the boys are going to kind of watch for... What is it? They're going to kind of watch. We kind of need to know how many is in there. <laughs> They don't even know how many. Um, hmm. Yeah, there it is right there. How many balls of yarn? Okay, so we're all looking, guys. Ooh. And I'll tell you how I got this. <laughs> he said slow down. <laughs> Go back up. Oh, to wait, wait. I see one. Um, Bridget Tolbert gets Bridget? 44. Oh, Bridget Tober got it right off the bat. So let me write Bridget's name down. Let me make sure no one else got it before her. I'm the show some 42, some 43s, but not a 44 as I can see. How do you spell her last name, Dakota? T-O-L-B-E-R-T. -E spell it again. T-O-L-B-E-R-T. -E okay. So Bridget, if you'll email me at Llama Mama Kayla and um let's see what she won i'm keeping track of what's what oh dakota's keeping track well thank you dakota let's do um a little ball of sugar and cream which color cotton it, it really doesn't matter no, he's keeping track. Mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna tell you how i got this jar really real quick the lady that elijah works for miss curry at curry farms her mother had passed away, and so she asked me if I wanted her mother's yarn, which I felt was a great honor to receive her mother's yarn, which it was, you know, older yarn, but still it was special to me. And so um, Miss Curry just gave me like all her yarn, and it was like tons of these little balls, and I just thought that would be so neat in a jar, and so that's what I did with them. <laughs> okay so two winners so far and i need to mark off what games there we're done okay <clears throat> so does everybody have something to drink can everybody tell me what they're drinking Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right. Oh, oh, Darlene Hill. Darlene Hill. Yay, Darlene. You said the secret word, which was sweet tea. So we're going to do another cupcake prize. And Dakota's going to keep up with that. That sweet tea was the secret word. And that's what I'm drinking is sweet tea. So. <coughs> So, yeah, Darlene, if you'll just email me at Lama Mama Kayla <coughs> with your mailing address. Oh, yeah, Lama Mama Kayla at gmail.com. Thankfully, I have my brain sitting over here telling me <laughs> what to say. Hello, welcome me and all, and we're playing a few games. So, join in. <coughs> okay, so we're going to do unscramble a word. So, you might need your pen and paper to kind of work on unscrambling a word and then the first person to type it in wins. So I'm gonna write on my whiteboard the letters. Which one's first? heard that okay so y'all ready you have your um pen and paper 
And if you can arrange these letters for a yarn name, this is a yarn name. Is it showing up on the screen well enough, Elijah? Okay, so if you can rearrange these letters. Oh, yes, who got it? Frog went walking, Froggy uh, no, went. No, someone got it. Oh. Yeah. Denisha Bridell. Okay, Dakota, you keeping up with that? Yeah. Okay, so Denise got that and it is your inspirations. <laughs> Elijah said, how do these people know that? <laughs> What's she win? Oh, let's do a um that's kind of a hard one. So let's do a cupcake. Charms. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So I didn't get anything to erase with. <laughs> we tried to think of everything to get set up. <laughs> Karen said my brain can't even go that fast. Huh. Got something I can erase with, Elijah? I don't. <laughs> oh. Okay. So that was good. Let me mark that out so I'll know that we played that. Oh, thank you, Elijah. I appreciate it. Paulette says she loves seeing all the dolls you make and all your creations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love creating. I love just um, making different things without patterns and just kind of playing around. Okay. So we're going to play a guess a color of a yarn. <coughs> Dakota, I need one of those over there. And we're going to see who can guess the color of this yarn. And the first person to type it in wins, not this yarn, but a prize. So here's the yarn. And all my comments went away. Can y'all still see comments? Okay, so the first person to guess the name of this yarn. Did somebody get it? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, oh, I didn't need Dakota needs to see it right, one more time. No. All right. This is um a Karen Big Cake. Somebody, <laughs> somebody got close. They okay. forgot the, like the first word. Does that count? Um. Okay, where are they at, Elijah? We're fine. Somebody won. One. We're trying to find you. Elijah said somebody got it. Sure, Cheryl Bolts. Oh, Cheryl Bolts, he said, got it. Cheryl, what did you say? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Yes, Karen, I really appreciate that that she made me. So somebody said they wrote to her to tell her thank you for that. Okay, so this is, I'll just go ahead and tell y'all the name since Cheryl got it. Um, and it is Summer Berry Tart. All right. So here you go. And Cheryl can email me at llamamamakayla at gmail.com. So we'll... Um, what did she win? Cheryl wins um, Cupcake. Yes, you do, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, Sophie. Okay, Dakota, you're keeping up with who won what game and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Not just the games, but who won which prize. Okay. All right, Dakota's keeping up with that. <laughs> all right, so let's do another um, unscramble. And let me pick one that might be a little bit harder. Get you some water, girl. Okay. Um, I 
I'm just using all the letters in this and I'm going to tell you it's this is three words this is a um a yarn brand all right Dakota wants to double check me because move the things like to the word okay okay so it's just three words and it's a yarn brand welcome gypsy we're unscrambling Unscrambling. Um, hey, you're a little glare on the first part. Okay, I think I moved it. Can anybody unscramble that? It's three words. It's a yarn brand. It's something that's pretty new. Very new. <laughs> oh, can't see. Uh, what I need to do? It's a, it's a <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, it's close. Somebody's getting close. Yep. 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 Jane got it. Okay, Jane. <laughs> That's a cupcake for sure. So. Dakota, you can write that down and I'll pass you the cupcake. All right. Sweet berries. Huh? All right, so we mark that off. That was kind of a hard one because you had to know. And I know Jane just bought one, the sunset one. Is that what you bought, Jane? It was homemade modern, is the, the brand of that. It's the Target brand yarn yes the new target brand homemade modern um here it is right here if you hadn't seen that this is the um homemade i'll just advertise a little bit for them <laughs> jane said hers was sitting right next to her <laughs> this is the new target yarn and so that is um i knew that would kind of be a hard one since it was brand new and a lot of the targets don't even have it on the shelf yet i went back to my target to pick up some more prescriptions and they hadn't even added anything to that section yet but they have lots of space to add stuff <coughs> so let's do another guess the color dakota do you want to pass me a yarn over there by you and we will guess the color in that one. I know people will know. You're going to know this one, so get ready. Get ready. Who can guess the color? Huh? There must be a lag, but... Oh, yep. yep. D, D Thompson got it. Well, let's see who... <laughs> D got that, that one. Now, what are we doing about that? We said we only wanted to, um, I don't know. What are we doing about that? What did D win before? D has won a cupcake. Okay. We'll add a, um, cotton to that, D. How about that? That works. Put that with D's. All right um pistachio fudge okay so here's a question for y'all okay so whoever can guess this the little kids in my life such as my friends younger kids and no d don't you don't have to that's fine <laughs> that's fine keep playing please the little kids in my life such as my friends little kids or little kids at co-op such they call me a certain name it's not kayla and it's not llama mama but can you guess what they might call me mama is in the name but it's not llama mama so who wants to guess what the little kids in my life call me <laughs> Garden, mama, Nana, Grammy. 
Mama Kek. No. No. Big Mama. <laughs> Not quite, but kind of close. <laughs> no, Mama is in the name. It's not Llama Mama, but it's something else, Mama. <laughs> Lots of good guesses. It is something, Mama. Sweet mama. Yep, Mama. Nanny. <laughs> mama drama. There you go. <laughs> Sugar mama. Who got that? <laughs> D, did you guess that? Sugar mama? D, Cindy Hart's crochet. Who guessed it first? D. D. D guessed it first. <laughs> oh, wow. So we'll add a leather little, um, a leather little sugar and we'll, Make sure this is a different color than what yeah, she got is. before. Okay, so congratulations, D. You're on a roll. Okay, yes, the little kids in my life call me Sugar Mama. And I don't know why I didn't go with that for my YouTube channel, but we just went with Llama Mama. So they, somebody said Billy almost had it. What did she guess? Yeah, the um, things are a little bit lagging for me there. Okay, so let's do, um, we did the yarn balls. We can do unscramble a word. Okay, so y'all ready for this? Let me write down the letters. Oh, sweet ma'am, sweet mama. Okay, so let me write my letters down. Okay, and this is two words. D okay. says she sucks at these, so everyone can say. <laughs> okay, somebody already guessed them. No, 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 no. Okay, here it comes, and this is two words. All right, here we go. Let the guys get ready so they can see who guesses it. All right, are you ready? Here it goes. <laughs> Thank you. Simplicity. That's simply gins. soft. Jens. J E N Z. Jens. It's simply soft. In case y'all wanted to see that again. So, yay, Jens. And if you will email me at llama mama kayla at gmail.com. Is that right, guys? <laughs> All right, so we're going to guess another color. What did Jen's win? Oh, see, thank goodness I got these brains sitting over here next to me. <laughs> huh? Yeah, we have some stitch markers, the guys reminded me. So how about Jen won this little stitch marker right here? I don't know if it's focusing very well, but this is Jen's. And Jen, when you email me, when when you email me at llamamamakayla at gmail.com, please let me know if you want a leverback or a lobster clasp on that stitch marker. <clears throat> All right, Dakota, hand me a thing of yarn so we can guess the color. <coughs> Excuse me. And you and Dakota, you know, logic go over the color. Okay, um, here's the color. So are you ready to guess? Does anyone know the color of this? It looks a little bit paler 
than it uh, does in real life because of the because of the lighting here. <laughs> oh. Does a lot of it's going to have been close. Well, no. not really. Okay, the voice said no. <laughs> Move it over. Move bring it, it over. Bring like... it back a bit towards you away from the light. Okay. How's that? Anybody know the color of this? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the yarn here. Come on, keep guessing. Keep guessing. It's not a food. not sprinkles it's not really food related it's not food related at all this one is kind of hard unicorn <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one we could rename it <laughs> it's not really spring related either it's not confetti got somebody was close <clears throat> Party at Kayla's. <laughs> well, guess we could come back to this one. I get to do this one. Which one is it? Huh? Like this? It is kind of a weird name. Hints. What kind of oh, hints? Oh, wait. No, that's Rowan. not it. Rowan's impressions. What'd they say? Circus. Yes, that's it. Okay. Rowan's impressions. What are they Um, that's a cupcake for sure because that was a really hard one. So the the colorway is circus. <coughs> In case you're wondering, that is called circus, and this is what she won. So Dakota is going to keep up with that. And you can email me at lamamamakayla at gmail.com. <coughs> okay, so here you go, Dakota. Right. And I'm going to mark that off here. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, what brand is that? I, I, I thought it was. That is new. Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny. Okay, could y'all hear that? Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny. Let me just show that one more time. That was a circus. <laughs> <laughs> here, here it is right here, if you can see that. And I found that at Michael's, of course, since it's um, loops and thread. Okay, so another game we're going to play is guess how many jelly beans is in the jar. Oh, do y'all know? Huh? Let me tell my boys real quick. Wait, so. You know where it's at? Hold on, hold on. We're going to go. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh boy. Can y'all go back and look at any yeah, of them? Elijah's, from now. Elijah's going back to look to see if anyone has guessed. So how many jelly beans? And we're lucky we had any left. My friend is on kicked in. <laughs> and I started eating some. <laughs> and I thought I'm gonna have to go get another bag, but it filled up this jar. <clears throat> you didn't see it, Elijah? No, nobody guessed. 
Yeah, keep guessing. If you've already guessed and we hadn't said anybody won, just keep guessing. And D, keep playing, of course. <coughs> Guess a little slower. <laughs> I've seen some close ones, but not. It's full, completely full, all the way to the top. And I don't know what size jar this is to give you some kind of hint. Um, I don't even really know what kind of jar that is. <laughs> I want to say, come on, D. <laughs> <laughs> Keep guessing, keep guessing, come on. Uh, somebody, YouTube says I guess too many times. <laughs> For real? <laughs> oh. <laughs> A thousand is too high. <laughs> Keep guessing. Somebody will get it. Oh, you're like, no, you're not. Never mind. <laughs> you're like 10 too high right there. <coughs> oh, it says it's cutting them off from comments. <coughs> like it says you're spamming or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, really close. so I will give you um, a hint. It's between... 150 and 250 somewhere in between there and this is an even number it's an even number between 150 and 250. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad lag or just a funny guess. <laughs> <coughs> Cut off. Oh. Okay, somebody was super, super close there. And we may just go with that one. Do y'all see that? Somebody. That was a million comments ago. <laughs> Oh, I see some that's like really, really close. Oh, man. Elijah says someone was one digit off. Did you see who it was? Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, Summer's Tips and Stitches. What did she guess? 232. Oh, yay, Summer. <laughs> So Summer got guess how many jelly beans? 232. Congratulations, Summer. And Summer wins a cupcake. Dakota's gonna keep up with that. Be sure to email <coughs> us at llamamamakayla at gmail.com um, with your address. Okay, so this is gonna kind of be a little hard one here. But this is what you need to do. You need your pen and paper. And I want you to write down Llama Mama Kayla on your pen and paper. And then I want you to see how many how many um, words you can come up with. And then do them all in at the same time if you can. Does that work? Llama Mama Kayla. It says I answer too much. I need to take a break. Oh, my goodness. So take Llama Mama Kayla, write it down, and see how many words you can make up with that. And then type your words in and your number all at the same time. And we'll see who comes up with the most. To see who can come up with the most words. Anagram. With Llama Mama Kayla. 
Oh, Mary Shaka is saying she said 232. Oh, um, we'll have to go back and look, but um, we can just do another prize for that. So I have so many prizes anyway. We're gonna be dragged. So a ball of, um, for Mary Shaka. Is that, I, I may not be saying that correctly, but write that down, Dakota. All right, be sure to email us. Okay, so, so are you doing the Llama Mama Kayla word thing? See how many words you can come up with? Hey, Devin. <laughs> That's too funny, Devin. And if you was on here a little bit ago, you should have got the sugar mama question. <laughs> so somebody got tea, who, do you know who it was? Okay. Froggy Day Crochet got 10. Okay. Okay. We're doing great, Devin. Someone got 20. Oh, somebody got 20 words? Who was that? Teresa Patton. Oh, wow. So you gotta, is, did she type them in? Mm, she just said she got 20. If you can type them all in at the same time. Oh, 12. Cheryl got 14. She typed them in. Yeah, don't type them in. Yeah. So, so far, I think it's Cheryl, right? Oh, Ange Angela Prescott says she got 18. Well, I don't think there was a 20. I think we misunderstood. So, Angela Prescott, if you can just type all yours in at the same time. <laughs> Llama Mama Kayla. No, there's no E. In what name? I don't have an E. There's no E. Wait, Cheryl had E's. It's yeah. Llama Mama Kayla's K A Y L A. <laughs> Gypsy, too much pressure. <laughs> oh. It's so fun seeing you all on here. Um, Mal, 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 make along. Maybe so, Ella. <laughs> I don't know. We're very lenient. Okay, Ruthie's Crafty Court, how many did she get? Did Angela Prescott do hers in yet? Yeah. Okay, rolling through life one, they got 11. Oh wait, Froggy went and didn't get 18. Wow. Is that the highest so far? Yeah. Yeah. D. <laughs> Oh. Froggy, yeah, yeah. oh, Froggy says she's still going. Froggy went knitting. Yeah, people are saying they think Froggy got it. And what was that number? 18. 18. Anybody get more than that? Teresa Patton says 20. Can you post your 20? <laughs> who, who got 20? Teresa Patton says she's got 20 a couple of times, but 
actually ever type in that. Yeah, we need you to type them in. Okay, Karen. <laughs> okay, boys, y'all watch for Teresa's or Angela Prescott. Huh? Oh, Froggy went knitting, says she's got 22 now. Yeah. So, boys, y'all be watching for that real quick while I pick what we're going to do next. And I'm going to go ahead and write this down. Okay, guys, y'all know what the, um, do y'all know what this is? Can you see that? Okay. Okay. So who won on that, Dakota? Froggy went Froggy's knitting. the one who's posted all of her so far. Yeah. She's the first one to post them. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay, so Froggy Day, oh, wait, not Froggy Day, girl. Froggy went knitting. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, Anna Stone, wait, she says she has 24. Wait a minute. <coughs> Can you type them in all at the same time? Not one at a time? <laughs> yes, both of my sons are in here with me. Dakota and Elijah. Okay, Christy, we'll still be here. <coughs> so who was that that was... Gonna type theirs in. They had 24. Anna Stone. Yeah, Anna. Okay, so did we decide who won that? Oh, we're waiting on Anna Stone to type hers in real quick. And then we're going to. <coughs> It's not, it's not going to count until I hold the board up, so. Oh, it's another unscramble the word. Okay. All right, so did y'all decide on that? I guess Froggy went knitting. Is who typed those in? Yeah. Okay, so this is two words. Okay, this is two words. But why did Froggy win? Oh. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Why did she win? She's a good one. How about a cupcake? Oh, Anna Stone. How many did Anna Stone have? Froggy has 24. How many does Anna Stone have? 24. They both have 24. Anna hasn't. She only, says she's still typing them in. So I think that's a tie for between Anna Stone and Froggy Went Knitting. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. So Froggy Went Knitting gets this one because it's green. And oh, there are others are green too. And Anna Stone gets this one. How's that? Froggy Day, Froggy went knitting, and Anna Stone. Okay, you can email me at llama mama kayla at gmail.com and leave me your address. Okay, so y'all ready for this? Unscramble the words. It's two words, and it is a yarn brand. Oh, no catchy name, Ella Redheart. I know someone guessed that before I ever held it up, but it wasn't fair because I hadn't held it up yet. So Ella gets this little bag right here. Okay, so Ella gets the little bag. 
Okay. Anna Stone, if you'll just email me at llamamamakayla at gmail.com and send me your address. Okay. Now, um, We did that one. Okay, so we're gonna guess a color, okay? You got it, Dakota? Give me a color. Okay, so let me see if I even know the color. Okay, so we're guessing the color of this. Does anyone know the colorway? And this is a Huron Big Cake. Lots of good guesses there, but not quite. The so guys, are y'all watching? Let me get it in different um, places so you might get a different um, shade. <laughs> Hello, I'm putting Bobby um, Miller. Okay, that's awesome. Congratulations, Bobby. Here you go. If you'll email me at, <coughs> excuse me. And what did she win? Email me at Lama Lama Kayla. Um, let's do this bag right here with a thing of sugar and cream dried cotton. Plum pudding. All right. Now, let's see, um, how about another pick a color, Dakota? Give me another one of those. And this one's gonna be for a stitch marker. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a Karen cake, and this is the color. And I guess I should look and see what color it is. <laughs> okay, so there's people guessing. That was close. Is that it? There we go. Yep. Carla. Okay. I'm not even going to try. But Carla. Set. That was it. Carla. <laughs> Rainbow Sherbert. <laughs> Can you write her name down? Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Sherbert is the name. And Carla won that. And Carla, you win a little cake stitch marker. And let me know if you want a lever back or a lobster clasp on that. And it's llama mama Kayla at gmail.com. Okay, so I already marked Rainbow Sherbert off. So which one of these should I have already marked off, Dakota? We have guessed <laughs> Rainbow Sherbert. We have guessed Summerberry Tart. Okay, that's the one I marked okay. off. Okay. All right, so let's do another um, unscramble. Unscramble the... Um, don't guess yet, because it won't count. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's funny, Billy. Okay, so this is kind of... Um, Kind of three words, but not really. One of them is not really a four word. Y'all ready? No. All right. Here we go. See if you can guess the brand. Can you see that? Yep. Yep, Jen's. Jen's got it. 
Jen's got that, and that is a sugar and cream. And let's make sure we got a different color from whatever Jen got before. She won a purple donut stitch marker. Okay, so that's perfect. Sugar that was sugar and cream. Yeah, y'all are really good at that on scrambling. Well, I just say y'all are too good at that. <laughs> Okay, Dakota, hand me a uh, guess the color. Okay, this is another wild one. Let me see. Okay, ready? Guess the color. Can you see that well? Guys, y'all watch. This is different from the one earlier. Is there a, a colorway called unicorn? I'll have to look that up. Close, but not quite. Um, Stitch House got really, really, oh, Summer Stitch and Stitches got it, Party, yes. Yeah, um, Summer Stitch and Stitches got it, it's Party is the colorway. Here you go. And Summer is going to get a, um, Sugar and Cream Cotton. Yay, congratulations, Summer. Okay. <clears throat> that was, oh, party. I'm just marking it off. So, um, all right. So, we're going to do the how to come look at this. Okay. okay. All right. So we're going to guess the <laughs> Angela Prescott's when I suck at this. Just give it a try. Just guess. Okay. So it's two words and it is a color, a, a yarn brand or yarn. It's not the colorway. It's a brand. How about a three letter word? <laughs> Jen. Yes, yep. Jen's got it. Simply soft. Um, what did Jen's win before? She's got a cotton, a stitch marker. Well, how about a cupcake? So, congratulations, Jen's. That's. I had several repeats. As as they're winning, I'm passing them to Dakota, and he's putting them over there with that person's name on it. Mm -mm. Nope. For sure it. Okay, let's do another guess the color. How about that? The last one. Okay, this is the last one of guess the color. All right, let me see if I can read it before I. <laughs> okay, so we're going to guess the color of this. Who can guess the color? And this is a Karen cake. Are y'all looking, guys? Mm -hmm. Lots of people guess sunset or sunrise, but that's not it. Let me see if I can. Anybody got it so far? 
try to put it in different angles. Oh, there we go. We Carla Crochet Love or Kayla Crochet Love. Oh, Kayla Crochet Love. It's fun Betty. All right, awesome. And she gets a little macaroon stitch marker. And Kayla, if you'll let me know if you want that to be um, lever back or lobster clasp. And my email is llama mama kayla at gmail.com. All right. And we have, let's see. And just stay tuned because the guys are going to pick door prizes. So guys, don't forget about that. Okay, so this is the last unscramble the words. Um, a lever back and a lobster, lobster clasp. What's the difference? Um, this is a lobster clasp. And the lever back looks more like an earring. Um, and the other one um, looks more like an earring. That's the best way I know how to describe it. And I don't have one with me at the moment. So, okay, here it is. Y'all ready? No, wait, we're not ready. <coughs> oh. Okay, so we're gonna guess. Let my guys get set down so they can see. <coughs> oh, you're welcome, Kayla. Okay, y'all ready? This is guess the um, yarn brand. No catchy name says she loves your hair, Elijah. <laughs> Say it, speak up louder. Oh, we. Oh, who got it? Oh, who was the first one? It's Lion Brand. Denise. Denise who? Y'all got it? Write her name down. And Denise won a, how about a little Volkswagen stitch marker? Let me see if I can show that a little better. And let me know if you want a lobster clasp or a um, lever back. Okay. So this is for Denise. Yeah, y'all are like super on the ball smart because I wouldn't be able to guess this. <laughs> <coughs> okay, and so let's see what else we got here. Dakota and Elijah are both going to pick a door prize. I do make stitch markers. We, um, um have made like i don't even see our stitch markers do you dakota right here oh <laughs> yeah there you go. yeah i'm gonna have those in my um my etsy in a couple of days but my guys have made stitch markers like elijah's made these and the cake and then dakota made um yeah d i think got one of these so that's just some of the stitch markers that um me and the my guys have made okay so the guys are picking stitch um picking door prize winners yep one a piece The comments are going so, so fast. But um, I've had so much fun with y'all tonight. I'm so glad that y'all came in and um, joined us for some fun. How about Jennifer Reads and Crochets? Jennifer Reads and Crochets. Okay, that's one of the door prize winners. And she gets this little cupcake right here. Yeah, some I, I didn't see 
the name, but I saw somebody say that you're something about my boys being involved. I'm very blessed. I have two great boys. Um, so this is Jennifer Reed's in crochets. It's a little cupcake and let me know if you want lever back or lobster clasp, right? Okay, Elijah Dakota. And so Elijah, you get to pick one. I'll check on that and see. And I've seen some people are asking a question when I was looking away and looked up and it was rolling off because I only see three comments at a time. So if y'all want to say that again, and the boys might could catch it. How much are your cup? Are your stitch markers? I think they're six ninety nine on Etsy. Mm -hmm. Those the ones that we made with polymer clays. Okay, so Elijah. Yeah, that one you said is good. Is that you've already said it? So stick with it. <laughs> okay, so Elijah picked Crazy Cat Creations. Crazy Cat Creations for a little owl stitch marker. What Dakota? What Elijah? Cat Crazy. You're right. Cat Crazy Creations. Yes, so you get the stitch marker. Yeah, that's Sonia. All right, so, and that's Sonia. I think she follows me on YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's all our prizes, but no, we have another one. So, <laughs> any more games? Um, so if you're a loom knitter, I don't I think if you're not a loom knitter, you might not be interested in this prize unless you want to loom knit. So if you're a loom knitter, uh, comment loom knitting and the boys are going to jot down the names real quick and they're going to draw one for this loom right here. Yeah. So if you're a loom knitter, write loom knitting or if you're interested in doing loom knitting, just write loom knitting. And the guys are they're writing them down and so we're going to give them a few minutes to um draw a name after they write them down and do that so this will be and this is the prize for that Okay, so the guys are writing those names down. We're gonna give them a few minutes. <coughs> okay. <laughs> oh, and Loom Play Love, which is Kathy and her son Breck, they sent me a um, Facebook message today of a video of him singing happy birthday to me. And it was just the sweetest thing. I'm gonna see if Dakota can't add it to one of my videos at the end or something because it was the sweetest thing i just loved it kathy tell him thank you <laughs> so this morning well the guys are picking out um they're writing all those names down real quick <coughs> excuse me i've been just talking talking so i'll tell you what happened to us this morning while they're doing that um i had just went to sleep at like 4 a.m my husband had got up at like one, he had went to bed and he got up at one to use the restroom and then um i went to bed probably about 2 30 but i couldn't sleep and so it was about four before i ever fell asleep read at four and then just uh, right after that like it started hailing like super super bad like between golf ball size and baseball size hail and it just kept getting louder and louder and louder what elijah first time <coughs> um i mean it woke us all up we got up <coughs> to see what was going on dakota sounded said it sounded like we were in a blender it was so loud and so we we got up and saw that this the whole yard was just white from all the ice and all the flowers that elijah's been 
planting a lot of them were just shredded and beat down but thankfully the windshields to our vehicles did not get busted but it was just crazy intense hail for like a long time so anyway um dude they're still working on the um loom winner so they're um but i want to thank you all for joining in tonight Thank you for stopping by and playing the games. And Dakota, have y'all got a name yet? We've picked Teresa Patton. Teresa Patton, congratulations. So you win this. And Dakota, if you'll put her name on that, mm -hmm. and you can email me at llamalamakayla at gmail.com. And so I do want to say this that I'm not going to mail all these out at one time. Like, I'm not going to go mail all these tomorrow <laughs> because that is going to be a lot to mail all that. So I'm going to spread it out over the next several weeks. So um, weeks to the month. <laughs> so I'll be mailing those just a few at a time as I can fit it in my budget. So I hope you understand that. Yeah, and everybody who won, um, please email me at Kayla. No, no, scratch that at llama mama Kayla at gmail.com. Did I say that right? <laughs> and email me your address. And if you got a um, stitch marker, if you want lots, lobster clasp or a lever back. But thank you all for coming by. And I just enjoyed it so much. And so if y'all want to chat a few minutes, I'm up for that. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate it so much. I love the yarn community that we have. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> oh, y'all are a lot of fun. Thank you. Um, I want to just thank you all for being, you know, subscribing to me and um, just being there for me and watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. Night. Okay. Sure will, Amber. <laughs> uh, Denise, the email was llama mama Kayla at gmail.com. And if we can put that in the description after this is up, if we can edit that. Mm -hmm. And um my son's site, his um YouTube is Mr. Cross Stitch. Is that right? Is that what you're asking, Amber? Thank you. I appreciate everyone so much. Oh, wait. What was that, Kathy? I see our loom alongs. Can you say that again, Kathy? I only caught the last little part. Yeah, Dakota is a cross stitch. It's Mr. Cross Stitch. Oh, thank you, Ella. I appreciate it. You know I love you. I love you all. Yes, I have one I'm working on now. It's um, with Barnett, Barnett Blanket. It's for Elijah and, you know. Aren't those supposed to be quick to make? <laughs> I get tired of working on it, and so I have to work on other things. <laughs> but uh, I might have it done. He, he graduates <laughs> in May. In are you doing any current um, crochet alongs? Uh, Dakota and I are thinking of doing a make-along. Um, and I know a lot of cows, crochet alongs and stuff, has started this, um, you know, at the beginning of the year. And so we were going to kind of wait just a few more months, a couple more months, and then we're going to do a make along, which would be uh, crochet, knitting, loom knit, cross stitch, uh, paper, just kind of whatever. And we're going to have a theme for it. So that's we're going to do that in a couple months. And I'll pick a winner and Dakota will pick a winner. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Yes, Gypsy, we'll do a make along. Make a stitch. 
Thank you guys for having me play. Have you connect your steps markers to the pie? Um, actually, Elijah does that part. So, Elijah, you want to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you use, Elijah? A jump ring. A jump ring. In between them, he said. So Elijah does that part. He's the um <laughs> thank you, D. My I feel like my boys are the best. They're so good to me. And the reason they are good to me is because their dad taught them to be good to me. <laughs> How's your hunter day project going? Um, I didn't post yesterday's and I hadn't posted today yet, but I have been working on for the hundred day project. I'm working on stuff for the fair, which will be here in like September. And so um, yesterday and today I'm working on a square for Jada and Stitch's 2017 calendar blanket. And so I was working on my April. Yeah, um, okay, Gypsy, yes. <laughs> I do have a Vegemite stitch marker. And then somebody asked, what, Elijah? Do you, Gypsy wants to know, do you put a screw head in it or make a hole in it? It is a eye hook. Very small. Yes, a very small eye hook. Yeah, thank you all for playing bingo and the yarn swaps have been going so well. Um, I'm very pleased with that. And so, Denise says she has a bingo already. Oh, that's great. That is awesome. I'll have to check that out um, when I go on the Facebook again. Also, um, the next, what's a yarn hop? I'm not sure. The next swap sign up will be May 1st. Um, So we watching for that May 1st for the next sign up. And do I have that correct? I, I don't have my notebook in front of me, but I think it's May 1st. Hey, you can do bingo with no printer. Just write it down on a piece of paper. Just write it out by hand. That's perfectly fine. Several people do that. Or several don't even write it down. They'll use like digital. They'll take a picture of it. And then um, they, they go back in digitally. Wait, what's Jane saying? Yarn hops are generally go. Oh, it went away. Can you read that, Dakota? Yarn hops are generally going from a yarn store to a yarn store to gather items or patterns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, if you don't have a printer, you can't print out the bingo. Just if you're on your phone or you're on your take a screenshot and you have an editor. Yeah, yeah, you can use um edit some kind of editor and just mark. Mm -hmm. Or you can draw it out on a piece of paper. Per either way, it's perfectly fine. Okay, the swap is, if you go back and look at some videos on my, um, oh, what did Kim say? Okay, um, the swap, let me say that. If you go back and look at some of the videos, it talks about yarn swaps or Happy Mail. And so we just have several planned throughout the year. And um, his is the Mr. Cross Stitch, C-R-O-S-S -S Stitch. So anyway, we um, are having these yarn swaps throughout the year. We had a Knit a Valentine one, and then we had a um, Share Your Stash this time. And the next one is just summer themed. So um, you're welcome to join in those. You don't have to participate in every one. You could just um, join in and participate in the next one. Like I said, um, sign up would be like mm, May the 1st, I believe. And we have deadlines and stuff like that. Bye, Karen. And you can see that my um, llama that Karen made me is over here hanging on the wall. I love looking at that. Oh, I didn't see Karen, Kathy's idea, but I'll go back and look through the comments. No, the swap is, oh, sorry about that, Denise. I didn't explain well enough, I guess. The swap is you'll be paired up with someone else and y'all will exchange a package with each other. So you'll receive a package and you'll send a package. Um the 
Let me see if I can just look in my notebook real quick and see what the summer of the May one is. I think it's just a summer theme. Um, just kind of thumb through here and find that. So yeah, you're paired up with someone and you send them a package and they send you a package. So you both get something in the mail. <laughs> they didn't flash my stash, they flashed my mess because today we were like pulling things out for prizes and all that. And we just piled some stuff up on the piano behind us. Uh, okay, so. They're telling you your next one's a summer theme. Yeah, it is a summer theme. <laughs> It's a summer happy mail. The sign up will be uh, May 1st, and then you'll have to mail your package out by like early June. And then in August, we'll have a fall happy mail. And then um, then we'll have a October Halloween trick or treat. And then in December, we'll have an ornament swap. And also in December, I wanna do a scrap yarn swap. And so, what that would be would um, you would just save up your Dakota hand me something out of here like a little ball of yarn. You would just save up your um, scrap yarns. I'm bigger than that. <laughs> okay, you would save up your scrap yarns to um, something you know about like this size ball, and you would save up twenty four. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You would save up 24 balls of different colors or colorways or variegated and such. And then you would put each one in a little baggy, um, little sack, like at um, Hobby Lobby, you can get like little red sacks or something. And you would number them one through 24. And then um, you would send them to that person, whoever your swap partner is. And then they could make something with the scrap yarns from their friend, you know, swap friend. Okay, I was just trying to read the comments there. I kind of got lost. Someone asked who the swap is on Facebook or here. Uh, the swap videos are on here that tells about them and tells all the dates to sign up and all. And then we do have a Facebook group for the yarn bingo. And we also have a Facebook group for the Happy Mail swaps. And what we do on that is, um, Yes, Kathy, a scrap advent calendar type thing. And um, on the yarn swap Facebook group, <laughs> Happy Mail Swap, I can't think of what it's called. We um, share, like when you get your package in, you take a picture or a video and share it on there so everybody can see what you got. Yes, you do have to be in the groups to be a just like yeah swaps. it works best that way we can mm -hmm. connect with each other and find and the point of the whole thing is to um you know make a yarn friend and after the um chat ends we'll link the links to the groups in the video description thank along you. with her email thank you let the go down so i really appreciate her playing along tonight Does anybody have any more questions Here, Dakota. So yes, Dakota's and Elijah both are very helpful. I don't know what I would do without them. They take such good care of me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we have more yarn swaps coming up. Simply Stitched by Katie. I'll go check that out, Katie. night sherry well I, I so much appreciate everybody joining in on the fun tonight and you know i know i wish i could just send something to everybody but of course i can't and i'm gonna have to space those out sending the those prizes out you know just to help with shipping so um yeah i know some of y'all probably need to get going and that's fine good night and i'm just glad i got to spend some time with you
Well, thank you, Kim. <laughs> Good night. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming and joining in. So as many are many of y'all working on the 100 day project? Yeah, we still gotta do dinner. Elijah's fixing to go cook dinner in a moment. We're having um, broccoli and rice, chicken casserole. We just eat late because of work, everybody's work shift. Thank you. I appreciate you coming by, playing the games with us tonight and having a little fun. Yeah, we, we always eat dinner late because um, of work shifts and we like to all just eat at the same time. <laughs> and a dog down here is pulling my cord. <laughs> Taco was on my cord. Somebody to hold it. Oh, Lisa said she had that last night. A hundred days of crochet. That's great, Kathy. The granny squares. I thought that was a good one, Teresa. Uh, my boys are Dakota is 27 and he is a manager at PetSmart. And Elijah is 19 and he graduates high school this year. He's homeschooled. Both of my boys were always homeschooled. They're through their whole life. They never went to public school. And so Elijah graduates in May. And he's thinking of EMT course, but um, you know, things change. Who knows what's gonna really happen? Oh, and I will will tell you all this. Um, Dakota, do you see that packet that I think that one right there that has my Louisiana um square stuff in it and all that? the squares okay yeah that one okay so i do want to show y'all something i really don't know how to crochet but i can crochet a border on something and so last night or the other night i was working on the square yeah i think last night i was finishing it up and i don't know if you can tell there's a little bit of a border around this i crocheted that so i don't know i was proud of myself for crocheting that around there because crochet is hard for me of course <laughs> it's, uh, Lynette says she homeschools um Teresa I'm doing okay I've had some really bad month like all, all of March was just bad for me but I'm trying to turn it around and feel better <laughs> Thank you. I'm making a Louisiana blanket, as you've probably seen in some of my videos. And so my goal is to make 20 squares. And um, our state song is You Are My Sunshine. And so that's my son to go on one of my videos. But y'all can kind of help me decide. I'm thinking, um, do I need to add some more in here? Does it look okay like this? Or do I need to add more? in between these. So let me know what y'all think. So, yeah, I didn't know if it looked um, kind of bare or not. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? What, what, Elijah? Carla says she would do some shorter ones in between yeah, the tall that, orange ones. Yeah, that's what we were kind of wondering if it needed that or not. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Sherry says maybe some smaller yellow ones. Oh, yeah, that might would look good, huh? Put some little smaller yellow ones in there. Might do that. Thanks for that idea. Here, Elijah, I'm gonna hand this back to you. Oh, did you hear that? See that? Dakota has a quick thing to hear. 
Yeah, fill it out. The background on this is going to be light blue. It's going to be this blue right here, actually, if I ever get it done. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. And I'm also working on my um, rabbit for this one, for my um, Jaden Stitches calendar blanket. Well, I have to go if you don't mind, set that over there. Thanks, y'all. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to um, close and get off here so that we can get dinner going so my husband um, can eat and get in the bed at some kind of decent time. Yeah, I'm doing those projects for the fair. I I'm not sure if they were saying that to me or not. I just kind of caught the tail end of something there. <laughs> but thank you all for coming. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Good night to everyone. <clears throat> hey, that's a great idea making those as washcloths. The Jaden um, stitches squares. Thanks, Jane. Good night, Katie. I'm gonna check out your um, YouTube channel. I don't think I've been on it. I, I don't think so, but I'll check it out. But I know I've got you on Instagram. Good night. Good night, everyone. We're going to go get dinner going so we can eat and get my husband in the bed at a decent time. <laughs> Good luck on the bingo. You'll win a, um, a cupcake and a stitch marker. Bingo winner wins every month or some kind of yarn. It doesn't necessarily be a cupcake, but some kind of yarn and a, big, and a stitch marker that we've made. If you fill it up, the bingo card, then your name goes in the drawing 12 times. Every time you get a bingo and you post your card with the pictures, no, just one card <laughs> because it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, it would be um, every time you get a bingo and you post your pictures that go with that, you get uh, your name put in a drawing. And at the very end of the month, um, we'll have everybody to post their bingo cards again. And we'll go through there and see how many times your name goes in the drawing. And if you black out, then your name goes in 12 times. If you get, you know, three bingos, your name goes in three. And so that's fun. You're trying to black out Denise. <laughs> and, you know, it's meant to just be a fun thing. It's not really to dictate your projects. It's just to, um, if your projects coincide, then it's just um, a fun thing to do. And you might win some yarn and a stitch marker. But I appreciate everybody playing. I love seeing everybody's projects in the bingo group. And I love seeing everybody, what everybody got for their swap in the swap group. And I've received my package in the swap group, which was from Brenda at My Pogoful Life. I just hadn't recorded the video yet. And so I hope to do that mm, maybe late tonight and put it up tomorrow. That'll be fun. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all, love y'all. And I'll see you soon. Hopefully, I might get a video up tomorrow of my swap package. So, Dakota, I don't know how to turn this on. I mean, off. <laughs> oh, you do it X, right? All right. Well, thank you. I'm going to close out. Bye, y'all. Congratulations to all the winners. Thanks, everyone. Good night.